Hello everyone. I'm here with San Antonio artist Jose Esquivel. Hello Jose. Hi, how are you? Can you tell us something about this painting? Uh, yes, this is uh, my grandmother. Uh, my uh, grandmother's name is, was Elenita Cruz. And um, she spent uh, most of her time praying and uh, fighting the devil. She uh, felt like uh, it was very important to be connected to a spiritual life. So uh, every, every day, every morning, she would have this holy water and go around the room, uh, you know, uh, uh, telling the devil to get out of the house. So when I started doing the portrait, I wanted to do a narrative that would uh, incorporate more of what she was about. So this is why I have El Niño de Atoche, El Sagrado Corazón, which she always used to, to as part of this struggle she had. Yeah. And uh, she always said that the devil comes out of places that you can't even imagine. So I have the devil coming out of this rose. She collected buttons, so I incorporated those. And back here in the background is uh, the Cerro de la Silla because what is that? She, what is that she came from Monterrey, Monterrey Cerro de la Silla, yes. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, it's, it's a portrait that goes beyond just having her face, it also Tell us a little story about who she who she was and what she was about. So it tells you what what uh, her beliefs were and stuff. Correct, correct. I like this picture. It's very nice. Thank you. We're gonna come over here to this other fo um, photo, and you can tell us something about this photo, uh, okay. uh, this picture. All right. Jose, can you tell us what this um, painting represents? Uh, this painting uh, was for an exhibition that uh, I participated in. Uh, it was at Centro Cultural Atlan. The theme of the show was Soy Legal y No Criminal. What does that mean in English? I am an illegal, not a criminal. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I did is create this mechanical hand, this industrial hand. And if you will notice, uh, it transforms itself. It's a human hand mm -hmm. that transforms itself into a high-tech hand. Is it supposed to represent like a flag? It's a Mexican flag. Because I noticed yeah. the colors. Right. And it, then it has a little, um, what is that called? Well, it's the Aguila and the serpent, you know, that's part of the Mexican flag. Yes. But it's uh, the Mexican worker, for instance, it really, uh, I think, points out more to the Mexican worker is uh, uh, being, uh, he's an illegal and not a criminal. Yes. Uh, a lot of them that are being now uh, detained are charged with a crime. And this is what, uh, it's a political statement, basically. And... Uh, that we have these uh, people that come here to work. There, there are machines, you know, and uh, so this is why I incorporated all of this, you know, in, uh, industrial-looking parts. Can I ask, what do you, what do you think of the government building um, the fences along the border lines? I don't think they make any sense. I think that uh, the only thing that it does is, uh, on a, on a very on a, on a bigger plane, it, it's not a good thing for America to be a country of, you know, immigrants and then to, to try and block off certain immigrants that are coming here to work. Yeah. See, I don't, figure, um, I don't think there's anything wrong them coming over just as long as they're not causing any trouble or anything. You know, if they're putting monies into the economy, I think that should be good. Yeah, there's, uh, it's, a, it's a complex issue, okay? And uh, I know that uh, there are some laws that that uh, need to need to be looked at, but I think that the the laws need to be uh, worked out to where uh, uh, these people are not uh, you know are not charged with a crime because they come to work. A lot of them come here uh, because they even leave their families. They come here to make a living and to contribute not only to this economy, but uh, it's, it's, I think, uh, something that is, uh, their immigration laws need to be uh, overhauled. You know what, I don't understand how, uh, when Reagan was in office, um, here we were saying, um, Gorbachev, tear down that wall, and then here we are building up, building up, you know, building a, um, offense, you know, right, through the right. borders, you know, isn't that hypocritical of well, the United you know, States it's, almost? It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, 
building walls, uh, especially in Mexico. Yeah. Mexico is a country that has been our neighbor and all of us that, you know, uh, my parents were, my dad was born over there and he spent all his life here. He became an American citizen, but he contributed to this economy and I still have relatives in Mexico. It is difficult for some of us that are Mexican-American. Yeah. Uh, it's conflicting inside, inside, inside of you. You know, it's difficult to view this thing as as a thing that is all right. You know. Well, thank you for having us, and I hope uh, you enjoy the second luminaris for you. Right? This is your second luminaris. My second one. Yes. Thank you for having us. Thank you.